Yeah. It's <laughs> official, though. You're coming back as Superman, right? I am. Congratulations. I mean, come on. <laughs> when you were a kid, when you were a little kid, uh, did you look in the mirror and say, yeah, I, I got it. I got it. No. No. <laughs> what did you say? What, what did you say to your mirror? What did you say to yourself? Um, I, I don't know. As a little kid, I didn't say much to the mirror. I don't think. That <laughs> uh, <laughs> was just us. That's right. Yeah. Not yeah. an American kid. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, I was running around the garden. I think. <laughs> but there's a sequel to A Man of Steel in the works. Uh, I look. I, I can't say anything official on on what will and won't be happening. Right. Uh, but uh, there are definitely murmurings about it. Murmuring, not the murmuring. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know what those murmurings, murmurings end up being. Yes. Truth. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, see. All right. well, we're very excited. Regardless, you you've also been in the news, of course, because there is a, a super <laughs> super secret surprise cameo in Black Adam. Right. Super which secret. Which I don't know how super secret it is since yeah. we're talking about it. It's so, out. I know. But you yeah, kept it yeah. a secret for a long time, right? Uh, yeah, a reasonably long time, and not not. Um, an insane amount of time, but uh, it's one of those things which we shot uh, in secret in the UK and just everyone amazingly kept quiet about but it. But I feel like the photographers stalk out these these movie sets mm -hmm. and sit with their cameras waiting yeah. to get the shot. Right. So how did you evade all of that? We were at a studio. Um, uh, in the UK, down. and so all locked down, no one gets it. How did it happen? How did the cameo actually come to fruition? Um, how did it happen? Goodness. Uh, I, well, Danny Garcia uh, of Seven Bucks and Hiram Garcia and Dwayne um, Johnson, <laughs> not Garcia. <laughs> Dwayne, uh, yes. They, they've been working very hard at, at making this happen, and so over many years of conversation, it got to a point where they said, right, okay, we are green light, for this, and so then I um, slipped into the suit and came to work. Slipped into the mm. suit and came to work. It's Superman and Sherlock? I know, hey, all the icons. Left. He's playing the icons. Uh, there's other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, but there's other stuff. Really? <laughs> you know, the almighty or something like that. Uh, do you so. have a favorite character that you play of the two? How are they different to you? Um, a favorite character of the two, ah, that's, that's a tricky one. Because um, obviously it's been a while since I played Superman. Yeah. Um, apparently got a lot more coming but, up. Yeah, I mean, watch this space. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I, I definitely feel a kinship uh, towards Superman. I've lived in his shoes for a lot longer than Sherlock. Yeah. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. And it's been a formative part of my life and, and career. Uh, so I feel a closeness to him. Um, I also feel a closeness to Sherlock, but not to the same degree.